I just received such a pretty package from the Embassy of the Republic of Korea. It's so much skincare product. There's also a little bit more over here. I know I haven't talked to you guys about this, but my skin has not been the best these last few weeks and I wasn't sure what's happening um, because I'm eating better than I usually do. I'm, oh, I'm not drinking as much water as I used to at some point. At some point I was drinking three liters of water a day, but I'm trying to be consistent with my skincare routine. I'm using products like that are gentle, but at some point I realized that I think what I was getting was maskne because a lot of my issues were like around, I can even feel a pimple here. You must be able to see it. You can see some here. I'm at the tail end of others that are around here. I don't touch my face that much, I don't think at least. I guess what I'm trying to say is I can use all the help that I could possibly get. Uh, and we're gonna test these out together. I obviously will not be able to try um, and give the p best feedback because I've only got like three weeks or so to test these products out and they're a whole lot. I think what I'm using now is pretty good uh, and a lot of them, if I'm being very, very honest, a lot of my products right now are Korean based. Um, some of my favorite ones are Korean, like my skincare, which is Purito. Ugh. Love it. My my sunscreen. Did I say sunscreen? I think I said skincare. My sunscreen is Purito. This makes me This makes me very happy. I will let you know what I think about these products. I will let you know where to get your hands on these products should you want to, but I will let you know as we go along. For now, let's get to testing. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. I just realized that by the time this video goes up, it will be October. We're in the last quarter of 2020. I don't know about you guys, but I'm relieved and also really excited about the last quarter. I have, I, I don't even have a solid reason to. Like there's nothing I'm particularly excited about, but in general, I'm just like, this is gonna be amazing. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. Maybe it's Christmas, actually. I should look up how many more days to Christmas. 97 days. Do, do, do. Oh, 97 days right now. I don't know about when you guys, when this video goes up, but right now, 97 days. By the time this video goes up, it will definitely be in the 80s. <gasps> That's insane. Oh God, okay, 97 days to Christmas. I'm here to talk to you about skincare um, and to just give you guys an update on some of the products that I've been using. As you saw, I unboxed a whole load of products, um, Korean skincare products, and I have been testing out two for a little over a week now and I freaking love them. I believe my skin loves them because my skin is looking really good. I, like my skin is looking better than it's looked in months. Except for this guy. This guy is brought to you by your regular period. Mm -hmm. So I started using the AHA Daily, AHA and BHA Daily Clean Toner, and it's from Maison. I read reviews about this brand, and it seems like it's pretty popular, not just in Korea, like um, in other parts of the world. I also had been using the multifunction formula. It's the all-in-one snail repair cream, also from Maison, and this one has a high concentration of snail extract, 92%, ladies and gents, in case you ever wanted to have a little bit of that on your skin. All right, so the products I'm now going to introduce this week. First one is this one by Veridique, and it's a Sika Calendula Whip Cleanser. Um, and then I've also got, also from Veridique, it's a Sika Calendula More Than Serum. Serum? Serum? I am not sure. The third thing, which I think I've heard Patricia talk about, I don't know, don't quote me, let me not put words in her mouth, but this is the Bella Lucy Popo Sun, Sun, Sun Cream, and it's SPF 50. Uh, I have high expectations. I want to see if it's going to leave me white cast. We'll see together, I guess. Um, and hopefully I'm gonna love it because I, I, I really love my other one, so let's see. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna wash my hands first. <gasps> it's not what I thought. I should have shown you guys. 
this is what it is. Like it's, what? I mean, I know it said foam cleanser. It said foam whip cleanser. But in my head, I was like, I'm not sure what they mean by whip, but um, it, this is so cool. Yay, science. Oh, it feels so soft. Oh, it feels so gentle. Oh, wow. I thought it was gonna be drying. It does not feel like that at all. Wow. That was such a pleasant surprise. I did not expect that. Wow. Wow. And then I'm going in with my toner. And actually, this is how I put my toner on now. I don't use the pad anymore. I saw, what's his name? Hiram? Hiram. Hiram. Right? What's his name? The skincare specialist. Uh, every single week. <laughs> If you watch him, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't watch him, then I must look crazy. Um, but I saw him use a toner using his hands, and I was like, wait a second. Wait, what? We can do that? So for the last month, maybe two months, I've just been using my hands, and I just pat, 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 pat. Next is the Very Deep Sicker Calendula More Than Serum. Oh, it feels a lot thicker. It looks a lot thicker than my general serums. Interesting. So I don't place it on my skin, I drop it onto my skin. Oh, it's a lot thicker. I'm gonna put one, two, what? It feels like a gel consistency. And yet it's not too thick, all right? I'm gonna go in with this cream. It's got a protective cover, a cover on top. The only thing I would say is that I wish it had a Scoopa, like I always feel conscious dipping my finger in here and there's just nothing to scoop it out. But that is, it's very jelly. The consistency is very um, jelly-like. The moment we've all been waiting for, <laughs> or at least I'm so curious about, is the Bella Lucy Popo Sun Cream. Okay, I'm gonna do the two finger sunscreen trick or tip, the thing that's come out. Actually, I did hear, I did hear once that you should use like a teaspoon of sunscreen on your face and neck. I don't use a teaspoon, but ever since I heard that, I had increased the amount of sunscreen I use. And especially since I don't get a white cast anymore, so I wouldn't be like trying to, you know, minimize the amount so I don't have to struggle to blend it in. But, oh. Oh, it has a, an interesting scent. Ooh, are we ready? Oh my god, this smells like something I want to eat. Woo. It's gone! No white cast! No white cast, ladies and gents! Let me actually put you this way. Come in close. Hello, it is my dad's 60th birthday on Saturday, September 26th. By the time you watch this video, he'll have already celebrated his birthday. What would, what would be the ideal gift to commemorate your 60th birthday? I'm thinking a 60 inch TV. I don't know what my budget is thinking, but that's my intention. I wanna get him a big old TV. And so that's actually the number one reason I was leaving this house was to go to hot point and just check out the options that they've got and hopefully it's something that i can pick up and help celebrate his big day because he absolutely deserves it and also 60 years 60 years is a lot that's a lot like i'm 31 my god if i just think about how much i've grown since i was 24 and i was talking to someone about that yesterday like in the last seven years i am not the same woman I'm not the same woman. You know, like from becoming a mother and that ch changing my life in so many ways to like, I wasn't wearing sunscreen at 24. Sorry to say, I, I just wasn't wearing sunscreen on a daily basis and now I can't even imagine that. But like, what? So 60, 60 years old. 
yo he needs we need to celebrate him i need to celebrate him i need to do something big so that's what i'm doing i'm leaving the house to go find something worth you know celebrating 60 years something that would really mark that look at this guys i'm like a little shocked here look at the price it's if we could just focus 49.99 so 50k for a 55 inch tv and okay so like if we're being honest is that the best quality in the world no but since when were we able to get 55 inch tvs at 55k that's insane you guys like this is absolutely what i would go for if i was just like trying to get something that would give me the cinema entertainment experience in my home but i didn't have the budget for like 300k tvs yes it's smart you can watch your netflix you can watch your youtubes on here okay so the staff here have brought up a good point i might want to consider that it's the sound it's the lg 55 inch the price is 72 um but the clarity on this thing is is just on a completely different level it's really really good my style over here in my little cute dress that I love so much but I've had my brows done my wax feeling brand new I've had it done at um, aromatics spa which is like where James Gishiru meets Waiyaki Way highly recommend it and I would highly recommend going with Yvonne because she's the person that always does in fact let me show you like, always does my brows to perfection not too thin I'm um, not super thick. I kind of just like to look like myself. There we go. I, I like I want my face to look like my face. Um, yeah, I, I just I really like that. Okay. Have to go. Have to go. Wow. I have had the longest day ever, but at least I had it in a cute dress. Do 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 do. I don't even know what that was, but this dress, like every time someone has said, I have it, oh, you look nice, you, I like your dress, I've done a little tour, I'm like, oh, really? What did you see? I'm gonna watch this clip back to see if you saw anything, but legit, like every time someone has like said, oh, I like your dress, I've just been like, oh, thank you, thank you. Truthfully, I like it too. It's just, oh. It's such a freeing dress. Um, yeah, I got this from Forever 254 and it was 1,800 shillings. I got a couple other pieces from there actually. One was a scarf and a, a, a jacket, which I'm sure you'll see at some point. But I freaking love this dress. I have had, <sighs> let's sit and talk. I have had such a long day. I was up and at my computer at, by 6.30 a.m. to get some work done. And then I quickly left the house, went and got my wax and brows, which, did I? Yeah, I vlogged, oh, I did, oh. Um, and then afterwards I went to Baba Dogo to go to Vivo Warehouse um, and have a meeting there uh, for some project that I'm come, kind of jumping on board with. I'm sure I'll take you along on some of those shoots and everything. Um, and then I got home and I had to put up a post for Chasing Paper, which I hope you have joined our little book club. Um, and by our, I mean mine and Patricia's. I have talked about it many a time on this channel, but maybe you're joining for the first time and you don't know. But if you don't, I'll leave a link in the description box. Our book for the month of October is... Dun, 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 dun. Girl, Woman, Other. And I have heard many great things about this book. So I'm really excited to dive into it. Like I've actually just heard so many amazing things. I bought this, when did I buy this? About a month ago. Anyway, um, I was telling you about my day. Um, yeah, so I got home and I put up that post and I don't even know why I'm laughing, but you guys, I just, I get, no, I spoke to two people today and 
both of them said that they feel like I've kind of gotten into my like I, I like I'm a, like I'm the content I'm creating now just feels different that's what they were saying and I was like it's because I genuinely just feel different and I, I kind of feel like I've like I found my voice and I, I don't want to jinx it I don't want to jinx it but I just I don't know it's been a long time where I've just been feeling very lost and very scared and the first few months of COVID were very difficult for me and I think maybe now is when I can say that and I can see how difficult it was by the number of um, the number of times I'd kind of pull away from my friends and just go into like uh, not the nicest space and and I just really struggle to make sense of things and like, but what am I doing? And and then I just get back to doing things and I'm like, but I'm not even sure I know what I'm doing and what direction I'm going in. And um, and I just, I, I finally feel like I'm making sense of things. And, and I think a lot of that too is, is with maybe unknowingly, I've also kind of gotten into a routine. Um, I, I, you know, the last two weeks when I had my silk press, I uh, I may not have worked out, okay, because I was like, I don't want to risk getting this hair sweaty. <laughs> as lame as that might sound to some people, it's the truth. I was not working out because I didn't want to sweat out my silk press, okay, so whatever. Um, but now I'm I'm back back at it. So I've worked out three times. I worked out Monday, Tuesday, and today, Wednesday, um, and. So like I've gotten into a routine with like working out. I've gotten into a routine with my eating, which helped a lot to be part of the Hey Sugar program. I have gotten into a rhythm when it comes to work. I now do this thing where I tell myself, so I've got a goal that I've set for myself, a major goal. Um, and this one, I, I'm going to keep it to myself for now. But um, my goal is to do something every single day, however small, that will draw me closer to that goal it, it doesn't matter how small so even if i'm having a really shitty day and i'm just like uh nothing makes sense i'm just i'm fe i'm not feeling i'm not feeling great not you know i don't want to do anything i feel tired i had a whatever it may be that i may be feeling i try put it aside and i try to do one thing that will move me closer to that goal um and i think that's really helped kind of get me into a momentum that i where, where I feel like I'm in charge. All right, I'm now going to wash my face and maybe read a little bit because it is 5.30 p.m. and I had a good day. I deserve it. I deserve a relaxed evening. Hey, I'm matching with her. Hello. Anyway, I'm here because I want to give you a skincare update. So, the product I'm now bringing in which I'm really excited about, is this by Mizan. Mizan, uh, yo, I don't know, I, maybe I have a soft spot for it, but uh, the two products I tested I really like, and so I'm waiting for their hyaluronic acid. It's got 50% hyaluronic acid. Wow, 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 wow. And what else do I want to include? I think I may have left it, let me go grab it. Here we go, it's this one by Newly, and it's the Squalane Moisture Cream. So it says it's good for moisturizing, recovery from UV damage, generates skin moisture barrier, and an anti antioxidant uh, protection. I'll report back. Remember the jacket I told you about? Here we are. How cute is this? Seriously, I mean, also how cute do I look in general? <laughs> I've gone all out in my, with my makeup today and my hair, but can I just tell you why I love freaking love my hair so much? I don't have any gel. I don't have any tight pins. I don't have any tight hair bands. Like everything is loose and relaxed and I still feel cute. And like, it looks like I've put in considerable amount of effort, even though it didn't take that much time. I've got a cute pin. Uh, this is from, what are they? A beauty galore. Uh, it was a set of different pins, and one of them was a little B, and you know, Beyonce, of course, I had to represent. Uh, and then my jacket is the one I told you about, but it's from Forever 254. My rings are from Masai, Masai Market. My little bandeau top is from 
what is it? Shopzetu pants. Oh God. First of all, I need new jeans desperately. I'm willing to pay good money for a good pair of jeans. Not even kidding. These are from Zara and I wear them at least three times a week and I've done that for the last three years easily. I need new jeans. Anyway, I've had such a productive morning. I'm just about to put up a giveaway a post on my Instagram and then I rush to Hotpoint so I can pick up the TV which they said they had multiples of. I mean, they better just really have everything. But you know how sometimes when you're so excited about something and you go there and it's like, oh, you have to wait, you know, two days before you switch on the fridge or, oh, it will be delivered in three days. But you're like, oh, I wanted it now. So I think I'm going to leave with the TV, but I'm just trying to pace myself in case they're like, oh, we can't find something. You'll have to pick it up tomorrow, which will be a shame because I've already asked someone like arranged for someone to come in and mount it on the wall at 7 a.m. in the morning so I can surprise my dad because you know he's turning 60 he ought to wake up with the bang um, right so 138 I have I've told myself I need to leave here in 20 minutes so I have 20 minutes to figure out what I'm going to say in this post um, and then we go but I'm feeling so good and guys, I didn't even, I just did, can I tell you what I did? I just did Bantu knots and then I kind of parted my hair like up until here. Does that make sense? Like I, so this part of my hair, I'm holding up. It was a little strange. It was a strange ringtone in my house. And I was like, no one in this house has that ringtone, but I know who it is. Um, anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh, right. I was trying to tell you how I did this. So I kind of, uh, yeah, so I parted it kind of in half and then I held it up. So literally there's a hairband holding this part here and it's very loosely held. Like I'm not trying to be tight and put everything in place and then to to do this i just kind of just did it till it became a fringe and at some point it was loosely it was like favoring more this side which you can kind of see it still is so i've tried to pin it so it looks more like a mohawk but i'm not precious about it like it doesn't have to look like a perfect mohawk and i i feel i just and it's not even perfect curls like not all the curls are like this some of them are just looking like oh, a little dusty but I just I feel great that I used good product on my hair and have a good hairstyle and nothing is tight and there's no product that I have to worry about washing off um, and with that I have three less minutes to put up this post before I dash out the door so I'm gonna focus on that now okay whoa I'm a sweat ball look at that look at that shine yeah also, it's the lighting, but like it's a it's a it's a lot of. Uh... Am I this shiny? Am I shining? Shining, shining. No. Anyway, got to my uh, parents' house and got the goods. And look what Amani has done. Isn't that the coolest present you've ever? I mean, the coolest wrapping you've ever seen. She was trying to tell me if she's gonna wrap it. I was like, listen, it's really not that serious. Don't bother. But she's done such a great job. The only thing is the back. Oh, you've started the back? What? Wait a second, you've done the back too? Yeah. I didn't I didn't think you did the back. I love it. Oh my goodness, you've killed it. I was gonna say that you've not done the back. The when why did you want me to turn it? So I could put the bow there. Oh the bow up here? No no, on the front. Where's the front? The front is the back right now. No, let's make this the front. The front, this is so pretty. Oh, isn't that so nice? I love it. Anyway, I am about to jump on a YouTube call and then finish a presentation and then vlog my mm, skincare. Wow. I am, like, these lashes should have come off at least three hours ago. My contact lenses should have come off, like, literally eight hours ago as soon as i put them on i knew i shouldn't have had them on i think i'm at the tail end like they're the 30 day ones and i think towards like the 28th day 29th they don't really feel as crisp or like as like comfortable as like the first day um but i've had such such a productive day oh my god
good. Oh, I know this isn't, I know this isn't how you should pull off your lashes, but, um, you know, I don't, oh God, that feels so good. Oh God, that feels so good. I know this isn't how you should do it. You should actually kind of just like gently work them off. Ah, oh. wow. Wow. This is not a big box of the yummiest zucchini and chocolate bread. Did I tell you guys about this? I think I insta storied it, but I didn't tell you about it. But um, it was really, really, really good. Uh, from a fresco, is that how you pronounce it? I think so. A fresco bakery, so yummy. But no, it's not a bag of baked goods. It is actually a bag of skincare products. Oh, my packing is not great. It's not great. I needed to get out to the house in a matter of seconds. I packed my vitamins in here. I was taking the vitamin C's for a while, but then they got finished and I need to replenish. But recently I did buy these, the omega-3 fish oil. Cotton pads, which I don't use a lot of cotton pads these days, but whenever I have makeup, I might use like one pad because I don't just do a double cleanse. I end up kind of doing a triple cleanse. I'll show you guys in a bit. Oh, I've got my spirit for my earrings because you guys, today I did Morning. The last clip you watched must be super confusing. Cause I just like turned, at least that's what I remember. I remember just hearing something, switching it off and running down. It is the next day I've had my shower. I'm just, literally I just stepped out of the shower. I'm about to do my skincare. Uh, I can't believe it, but let me tell you what happened yesterday. Starting with my toner. I heard the door close and I was like, that's my dad. I have to be down. We have to be down so that we can surprise him. And I just got out. Like I ran quickly and it was just like excitement upon excitement upon excitement for at least an hour of trying to like set it up. And this morning, um, I had someone come over. I'll leave his details in the description box just in case you want to check him out. But he um, mounted it on the wall. He's really good. He's called Alex and he actually did my TV and now he did my parents' TV. Um, but it was such a beautiful moment and I think they're really just enjoying it, enjoying having it on. So even at some point I was like reading up in this room and I could hear like music being blasted from downstairs, which was just, I don't know, it just makes the house feel different in a good way. Okay, so today is actually my dad's real birthday. So we're gonna have lunch, but I have to leave at some point because I've got the Chasing Paper review, book review, and we've got the writer. We've actually got the actual writer who's gonna join us for the live at 3 p.m., which is just insane that we get to sit with her and have so many questions. I am all dressed, body is moisturized. I'm now about to do my hair. I'll see you in a bizzle later in the day when we've got Shiro, which if you've read the book, please let me know what you thought. Let me know if you cried. I cried. Oh, oh, have a good choice. Must read. Absolute must read. Hi. Oh gosh, I didn't take you with me really on the, um, what was it, the live, the Instagram live. I just got so distracted. Um, and also just Shiro is so cool. We just ended up, I, it just, it was not what I thought it would be, but it was such a lovely afternoon. I like she's such a gem. I don't know how our, pra our, our paths didn't cross earlier because I'm a little obsessed with Shiro. Um, I want to take you through the box. All right, so to be very honest, I did not try everything in this box. Three weeks is nowhere near enough to try a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen products on this one face. Not enough, but. I did try some of the products and I have thoughts on them. I also just want to preface this next segment by saying that it is sponsored, or this video is sponsored by the Korean Embassy and I will leave more details in the description box in case you want to purchase anything I talk about. Um, I also want to say that I am not a skincare specialist, I am not a dermatologist, I am not an expert in matters skincare. So, Really, I'm just like a girl who has fallen in love with skincare and trying different things and seeing how her skin responds. 
Um, my skin type is combination dry, so I tend to want to find things that leave me feeling really hydrated. I think that's it. Now I can dive in. You know what? I'll actually start by just taking you through all the different products so you can see what I did have very clearly. To start with, I've got Bella Lucy SF Edition Bio Lotion, Bella Lucy SF Edition Bio Skin, Bella Lucy Popo Sun Cream in its SPF 50. This is actually one of the ones I did use and I have thoughts on that. Bella Lucy SF Edition Bio Intensive Ampoule. 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 Ampoule? What is it? And then from Newly, I have the BHA PHA 5.5 Peeling Pad. It's said to hydrate and nourish and refine textures and remove dead skin cells. I've also got the Squalane Desertica Moisture Cream, which is said to be moisturizing. It helps with recovery from UV damage, generates skin moisture barrier and antioxidant protection. From Veridique, I've got the Roseberry Yogurt Mask, which is something I actually tried last year. No, or two years ago, I believe. Uh, another product from Veridique, is a Sika Calendula More Than Serum. And finally, from Veridique, it is a Sika Calendula Whip Cleanser. And then the last brand I've got with me is from Mizan. I've got the AHA and BHA Daily Clean Toner. It says that it's got stable combination between AHA and BHA, and it's supposed to be skin calming and helps remove so soft dead skin cells. From Mizan, I've also got the multifunction formula all-in-one snail repair cream, and it's got a high concentration of 92% snail extract which promotes skin repair effectively resolving skin problems i've also got the original skin energy hyaluronic acid 100 it contains 50 percent of hyaluronic acid so it's good for wrinkle care and has a deep moisturizing formula there's also the natural grain rice real cleansing foam this soft cleansing foam contains real rice bran for mild exfoliation and moisturizing effect. The whipped cream texture creates an instant refreshing feel and its gentle composition is perfect for sensitive skins. And finally from Mizan is the original Skin Energy Collagen 100 and it contains 90% of collagen solution which is wrinkle care, helps with wrinkle care and skin lifting. Actually collagen is said to be really good as you age which is what's happening here <laughs> okay so i'm going to take you through the products that i did use okay i'm going to go through my faves which uh, you guys will i'm not I, look i i have i have nothing to gain from leading to, to for leading you down a path where you're going to try products that work terribly with your skin i'm i'm not trying to do that at all but i did love majority of the products there are only two that i'm unsure of one I'm unsure of and one I, I wasn't particularly fond of so that's what I'll say um, and I tried one two three four five six seven seven I tried seven products oh and face masks which some of them I'd even tried before anyway so eight products in total um, but oh my god okay so let me start with the AHA and BHA daily clean toner I really like this and I think my skin really likes this but when I was using the combination of this and the snail repair cream i feel like my skin was just like more we love this i have to say that i believe everything here is scented so if you've got uh, particular reasons why you don't like using scented products maybe your skin gets more irritated or you just don't like it you might want to bear that in mind i don't go out looking for scented products i'd rather that they don't have but if my skin doesn't react to it it's okay plus also when I think about it I don't know what the product would smell like if it wasn't scented I might just actually be like mmm you could have just added some rose to this who knows but uh, yeah you can tell even though it's I've been using it for three weeks now I mean there's still so much product in there my only thing with this was that I couldn't I wish it had a scoop up so that I didn't have to dip my fingers in there. Even though my fingers are clean, I still feel like I've, you know, if I've used, say, hyaluronic acid or vitamin C serum on my skin, I just, I, I just wish it had, it came with a scoop up. Oh, one of my favorites is this from Very Deek. It's the Sika Calendula Whip Cleanser. I mean, you guys have seen how I reacted when I first used it. I just was like, what is this? This is so cool. It's also meant that other little people in this house have thought it's cool and I have I've had to hide it because otherwise I'll just be like 
what's all this foam? What's going on? But it's just, it's cool technology. But outside of that, it feels really good on my skin. And I've got um, different kinds of cleansers. I've got really gentle cleanser. I've got one from, what is it called again? What's that brand? Uh, oof, now I can't remember the name of the brand. But um, it's got, when it comes, I'll just say it. It's really, really gentle, like super gentle. And then I've got other cleansers like the one from Neutrogena, which feels like it's taking the dirt off without leaving me feeling stripped, like I, like my face is super dry. This feels like it's like right in between, but leaning more towards gent, I, I don't know. I, it just feels like you could use it every single day. It would do the job, but not leave you feeling stripped. I love it. I also tried this hyaluronic acid. I have to say, the days that I used this, like I felt like my skin was super, super supple, like super hydrated. Um, and I, as someone who has dry skin, like that's what I crave. But I did wonder if I'm too, if, if it was too much. I did check again and I was looking at like the percentage of hyaluronic acid because I realized a lot of my other products that claim to have hyaluronic acid acid don't say how much and i was interested like oh they said 50 percent and 50 percent is quite a lot so you have to be wary because it might irritate your skin um i so this is the kind of product i probably use like three four five times a week and just get a feel of and try and understand how my skin is reacting to it but as someone who feels who often feels quite dry like i really liked this uh a product that I started using, I've only had about a week with this one, maybe even less, like five days. So I feel like I can't quite report back. And as is the case with a lot of these products, like I would need time, except for except for these two. These two, I've had like three weeks. I freaking love them. Um, but I, yeah, I've heard a lot about squalene as an ingredient. And it's said to be really good for like moisturizing and, and also acts as an antioxidant, I believe. Um, but again, anything that says moisture, 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 hydrate, 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 uh, replenish, 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 I am like I'm drawn to. The one that I am not sure I'm a fan of is this one by Very Deek, and which, which is crazy because I really like this Sika the cleanser. Um, it's got Sika Calendula. I'll be honest, when I first got this, I had never heard of Sika and I had never heard of Calendula. So both of them I just, I had to Google um, to learn more about. From what I understand, Sika is like a, it's like a, it's like a herb or a plant that's found in Asia. And I would compare it to like aloe vera. It seems to have all these like healing properties where if you've got scarring, like this is what you want to put on. And it just kind of cools everything down and um, kind of acts as an antioxidant as well. Um, and it also, actually, which makes sense, but it's also like in the family of centella, which I've got my purito sunscreen here because i want to talk about the last sunscreen and kind of compare it but it does like when it said that it's in the same family kind of thing like i was like oh no wonder the sense i could feel it I, I could smell it i could sense it um and then calendula i think is a kind of flower i think um i can't remember what it said anymore but you know what this is where you get to do your research and see for yourself if this is something that you'd like to take into or to bring into your skincare regimen. But um, my only problem with this is the applicator. Like sometimes I would be here for what felt like hours trying to get the product inside. It's a lot thicker in consistency than a lot of my other serums. And so I would just be like, come on, get in there, get in there so that I can then use it to drop onto my skin. Um, would I use it? Yes, but re less regularly because it's just it was just a lot more cumbersome trying to get it onto my skin. And then I'm gonna now move to the face masks. So, I mean, what can I tell you about Korean face masks? They're some of the best. It's like, where else do you? Oh no, there are other brands that do have face masks, but in my head I'm like, I think if we're thinking face masks, Korean face masks is like where my head goes to first. If I think about the first time I used a face mask, it must have been a Korean brand as well. I've had a lot of these in my um, drawer before, like I've bought these before. In fact, I noticed that I, because I was like, oh, they sent me two green teas and I realized, no, I already had one from before. So I've used the green tea and I've used the, there's one other one I've used, I can't remember. Um, and I like them. And same for this one. This one was quite interesting. Oh, and I got another one. 
Oh, but that one was not part of this package, but it's another Korean, um, what is it, face mask. I would just say like, it's if you're not sure where to start, I think a face mask is an easy way into skincare or Korean skincare if you're curious about it. Price point wise as well, it's, you know, it's more favorable. Sure, you only use the item once, but um, I think you could try that. Now, sunscreen. I want to talk about, I don't know why I have a special place in my heart for sunscreens now, now that I'm just like, oh, they don't always have to leave me with the white cast. Sunscreen. You can see that I don't have that white cast that a lot of black people or dark-skinned people will normally have when they're using sunscreen. Um, I do have a little bit. I could tell that there was a little bit of it, but it hadn't yet sunk into my skin. And as the day goes on, you could barely tell. You can't tell. And so this one, I did confirm. I messaged Patricia this morning and she was like, yeah, I definitely told you about this brand. Um, and that was when I was looking for a new brand to buy. I ended up at that time buying this one from Purito. I really like this. It's scented, so again, you want to keep bear that in mind. Um, I have received in the past questions about whether sunscreen makes, like a certain sunscreen made my eyes water, and I've just never had that problem. Um, so I, I, I can't get, give feedback on that. It's never been a problem, an issue for me. It definitely wasn't with this brand. I would highly recommend it. Like, I, look, Korean sunscreens, it's where it's at. I've like i it's where it's at another thing i would say here is that this sunscreen um by purito which is a centella green level safe sun spf 50 it's definitely lighter in consistency um it doesn't feel as thick as this so if you're looking for something that was lighter i would go for this but i like you know i just like to feel like my skin is like being given a hug by these products so i would absolutely go for this too i'd go for either one but like mm, and it smells Pretty good too. Pretty certain I'm going to be using everything here in due course. I just couldn't do it in three weeks. I, I was I couldn't do that to my skin. But I would love to take you along. So just you know keep watching my videos. I'll be giving feedback here and there. Again, I will leave a link in the description box um, with all the details as to where and how you can find these products. If you're curious, if you have been a Korean skincare fanatic or fan for a long time please let me know what your favorite products are i feel like it's only in the last year or so that i've started to get into the skincare game more seriously and i'm i definitely have a soft spot uh for korean brands but yeah that's it for now i'm going to dash out i have a major presentation to give this afternoon so cross your fingers for me ladies and gents and i hope you've had a great start to october and i'm going to see you very soon hugs and kisses check out the description box again for all the details and um i'll see you very soon